Hey there, good looking. Welcome to my ab hit workout using the Pilates ball or mini ball or squishy ball, whatever the heck you want to call it. Listen, if you're looking to get the heart rate up and to train every single muscle in your core, well, you have definitely hit the right workout. So lace up your runners, grab your ball, and let's go get warmed up. Hello there and welcome. I'm PJ from fitnesswithpj.com and hey, I help women feel amazing and get stronger. So if that interests you, click that subscribe button if you're on YouTube. Now, if you're watching this ads free on my Over 50 Fitness app, welcome. Make sure you head to our private community after the workout and let me know what you thought of this workout, okay? Awesome, let's get warmed up. Platy ball in your left hand, so just simply mirror me. Bend the knees slightly and bring the arms up. So when that ball's down on the ground, you've got the wrist, shoulder, top shoulder, and top wrist in line. Great job. Do it again. So I am super excited about this workout. We have two different moves that we'll cycle through. 30 seconds on, 10 second break, three rounds. Two more here. Um, yeah, your abs are going to be toasted. So just a heads up here <laughs> and let's do the other side. So we'll bend the knees. We'll add a rotation as we extend one arm up. Other arm comes down to the ground. So one will be more of an, a traditional ab movement. And the second exercise will be definitely an ab movement, but more in high intensity exercise to get your heart rate up. And that is how we are going to roll for 20 minutes. <laughs> Last two. One more. Excellent. Keep the feet about shoulder width apart. Bring the arm straight out. Bend the knees for me and twist just your upper body so your hips and your knees still stay pointed towards me and bring the ball side to side. Pressing the ball with your hand so you are working a little bit into the arms and pecs when you press into the ball like so. Good. Four more. One more each side. Now bring the ball back up here. As we squat, we bring the ball up and down. Good. Up and down. Good job. Still pressing that ball with the hands? Just thought I'd ask. Now take a look. Are the knees tracking with the toes? Just thought I'd ask. <laughs> Bum going rearward? Good. Just thought I'd ask. <laughs> Last two. One more. And release. Just place the ball down. Make sure that it won't roll though and get in your way and go into a jumping jack for me. All right. Now, if you don't like that high impact stuff, here's your low impact. And I'll show some low impact moves in an alternative window up here for some of our higher intensity moves, okay? Ten more seconds. and shake it out all right we are pretty much down on the mat for the entire workout our first exercise is an ab crunch squeezing the ball with our adductor so the ball is in between the knees and we're crunching up the second move is a mountain climber position wrists under your shoulders and you can climb like so you can also be on the forearms or build your ground up if you're a beginner all right you ready Perfect. Squeeze the ball, hands light behind the ears. Use your abs to roll up. Exhale as you roll up. Good. Now, I love using the ball for this movement because we get a little bit of adductor work as well, that inner thigh. Now, that area tends to be a lazy muscle group, so it's always nice if we can incorporate it. Now, in 10 seconds, mountain climber. And again, build your ground up. If you find that being on the ground is too much time okay and you can also be on your forearms if weight bearing on your hands bothers the shoulders wrists under shoulders if you're with me and go now we've got 30 seconds this is our more intense drill so i want you to go as hard as you can okay Last 10 seconds, 
and then we go back to that crunch. Time. All right, yeah, perfect. Two more rounds like that. Here we go, squeeze that ball. Hands light behind the ears, heels close to the bum. Exhale, curl up. Good, head's gonna rest in the hands. Nice length in the neck. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I'm a little scared for today's workout <laughs> for myself. I usually don't do 20 minutes of straight ab work. <laughs> so <laughs> I, think, I think you're gonna be testing your trainer's metal with this workout. Time. <laughs> All right, mountain climbers. <laughs> but I have faith in you. I have utter faith in you. <laughs> Wrists under shoulders, go. Again, build your ground up, okay? If you find that being on the ground. And building your ground up is such an easy and fantastic way to make this a more manageable move if you're a beginner or if you have wrist, elbow, or shoulder issues. Okay, 10 more seconds, come on. Time, woo! All right, one more of each, and then we move on. Do you get a break before we move on? No, we do not. Just let I tell you. Go. Breaks are overrated anyways, you don't need one. <laughs> They're so last week. <laughs> They're so last year. <laughs> uh. Exhale as you curl up. Give your abs some power that way. Good. Time. All right, mountain climber. So again, if you're on your wrist, whether your ground is elevated or you're on the ground, they're right under your shoulders. Go. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Ten seconds. Stay on top of those wrists. Time. All right, ball in between the feet. Lie down for me. Knees in tabletop, hands light behind the ears. Flex up and stay up. Now as your legs extend out on an angle, you're gonna lift and twist one side. Now if this bothers your low back, I don't want you moving your feet. All right, so that's where you'll be, because you don't wanna feel your low back. You are staying in this crunch position though. So you are flex for the entire 30 seconds. And then it's as the legs straighten, we add the twist. Exhale, time. Okay, so that one's tough, but lucky us, we got another two rounds to perfect it. All right, we're back in that plank, plank jacks. Ready, set, go. Now you can tap it, okay, that's your low impact version, or join me, high impact. Once again, build your ground up like we did in mountain climbers too, okay? Time. Whew. All right. <laughs> Here we go. Ball in between the feet. Knees start in tabletop, hands light behind the ears. Now curl up and hold that. If you want to join me with the legs, they go out on an angle and you twist. Exhale, good, slow it down, good. So your legs got to go on an angle, all right? And you should not feel your low back. Don't move those legs if you're feeling your low back. Time, Whew. okay, back to plank jacks. Again, build your ground up or be on the forearms too. Jack it or tap it, go.
Less than 10 seconds, come on. Time. Whew. Do you feel your abs yet? God, I hope so. <laughs> I hope I'm not the only one. <laughs> All right, ball back in between the feet. Go. Flex up, hold that. Now extend. There is always comfort in numbers. So I really hope you're suffering like I am. <laughs> and I mean that with love. <laughs> So our last time with this. Time. Woo. All right. Woo. Plank jacks. Yeah. You want to add an opposite shoulder tap? Show you. So start the jack and then tap the opposite shoulder. <laughs> This is optional, right? Okay, good. I know you know that. Time. Woo, baby. All right, get that small ball. Place it just underneath the shoulder blades. So right where the shoulder blade tips are, good. Now, slightly. Bend the knees for me, not slightly. Bend the knees. Hands light behind the ears. Back of the head hits your mat if you're able to, and then use your abs to curl up. Now, don't allow the head to rock back. So your neck is staying fairly still. Sorry, I can't talk anymore. <laughs> we have to bring somebody else in to cue you. But no, I think you got this, right? So it's not your head dropping back to hit the ground. It's your upper back, thoracic spine going over the ball and then you're using your abs to pull up. All right, power mountain climber. Whew. Start with the right foot beside the right pinky. Push through the hands and step it. Good. If you don't like that, step around. Wide mountain climber, okay? So power or wide. You can also do this with the ground built up, yes? Yes, you better believe it. Now, if you're doing the power, you're pushing in those hands, lifting those feet up, getting the foot and bringing it right up beside the other hand. Breathe, come on. Time. Woo! Hey, I know I told you we would have a good time. All right, here we go. Shoulder blades, yes. Head supported, yes. Knees bent, yes. Good, now crunch, exhale as you lift. This one is bloody brutal. I think I'm gonna complain to management about the programming on this workout. Time. You don't have to bother, I'll do it for us, okay? All right, power mountain climbers or step out wide mountain climber. If you're powering, you wanna start with the foot beside the pinky. Now push through the hands and jump it. You know, I don't get crappy comments very often on my channel. Actually, very rare, very rare. But when I do, I gotta tell you, nothing can be of as big as critique as myself. So go ahead, try it, YouTube. <laughs> I am my biggest critic. Time. So, you know, you, you can't put me down. <laughs> All right, here we go. Final round. I've gotten better though as I've gotten older. But I have that syndrome, perfectionism syndrome. Do you all have that as well? Yeah, well, you can't be, it's impossible. It's not attainable. But when you have that syndrome and then you add, you know, being online, having videos, <laughs> programs out there that you can see and critique and cringe at, yeah, time. Whew. It's a really weird gig. <laughs> All right, power mountain climbers. Foot beside the pinky. Ready, set, go. 
It's our last time here, and then we're moving on to our final series. Actually, you know what? I might not complain to management. This hasn't been that bad. Thank you for joining me. You've made it easier for being here with me. Time. Woo. All right, that small ball is now in the very small of our back, almost under the bum, okay? We're gonna use that to help support the spine while we lean back, hands in front, and then do a reverse curl. So curl over the ball, twist, left elbow touches the ground, and then sit up again. Right elbow, good. Ooh, <laughs> yeah. This is a whole new different ab move, isn't it? Time. All right, now guess what? We're gonna stay here. I'm gonna show you level one, and then I'll amp it up, and if you wanna amp it up, go for it. Fingertips wherever you want them, heels close to the bum, and give me a reverse bridge, good. Excellent, now see if you can touch the opposite knee. Perfect. Now if you'd like, extend one leg and see if you can touch the opposite toe. So those are your levels, all right? I broke it down. You're feeling good. You pick what's gonna challenge you. Push through that heel, lift those hips up. Time, yeah, perfect. All right, second round. Remember, this is our final series, all right? So get that ball right in the small of your back, squished under your bum slightly. Sit up tall. Now reverse crunch over, twist it, sit up. If you want to add a little bit more spice to this, you can hold on to a dumbbell. So maybe remember that for the future. Time. Whew. All right, reverse bridge. So again, you've got that option, just the reverse bridge or reverse bridge, ta tap opposite knee, or reverse bridge, tap the foot, go. Is your ball getting in the way like mine is? <laughs> Come on. Time. Whew. All right, you guys. One more of each. Whew. I'm proud of us. Here we go. Ready? Sit up tall. Now lean back. Crunch back. Twist it. Are you breathing? I hope so. I prefer my clients to be breathing. That's what you are right now. You're my client. Every time you come on one of my workouts, you are my client. Time. And just like I do with all my clients, I respect you, and I'm going to give you the best damn workout I can. Ready, set, go. Oh boy, yes, 20 seconds, oh yeah. Come on you guys. Ten seconds. Time, woo! All right, let's stretch out the abs, eh? Quick stretch, legs straight, arms overhead, easiest stretch in the world. Lengthen through the midsection. Catch your breath. Holy moly. <sighs> All right, grab a quick sip of water if you need it. Whew. So listen, we're gonna do just a couple of stretches because this is a great workout to do if you're short on time. So I wanna respect that and not go really long 
Or maybe you want to now do a strength workout, at which point we don't need to stretch as much, and I want you to go find a stretch workout. If you're on the Over 50 Fitness app, head to Strength Playlist. Choose from one of the hundreds of videos we have there. If you're on the YouTube channel, I'm going to have one on the very end of this workout. All right. Woo. Here we go. Left knee under the hip. Right ankle and knee lined up. Squeeze that left glute. Inhale the left arm up. Exhale, lean away. Stretching hip flexor, oblique, and you'll feel the abs as well. Ah, thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Little thumbs up if you enjoyed yourself. And drop a comment, whether you're on the YouTube channel or you're on the Over 50 Fitness app. I'd love to hear from you. If you're wondering what the heck is this Over 50 Fitness app, well, that's an app with eight, myself and eight other amazing women with workouts ranging from strength to meditation to Pilates to bar, you name it. So if you want to try yourself out a 14-day free trial, down in the description. And if you're already on and you're doing this workout, make sure you head to our private community. I want to hear from you after this. Here we go, other side. So, you know, I hope I showed you a few new moves. I also proved to you how we can keep the heart rate up while you're still down on the ground. You don't necessarily have to be jumping around up above on your feet, jumping like a banshee to get the training effect that we need to see the results that I'm sure you're looking for. All right, here we go. So you won't be mirroring me, all right? Right hip underneath, extend the leg, right wrist right under the shoulder, and then reach that left arm up and over, lengthening into the obliques. And for those of you in my Patreon community, a big kiss to you for once again supporting the channel and helping me keep this channel going. And release, other side, wrist under shoulder, bring that arm right above the ear, push the hips towards me. And release. Hey, thank you so much for joining me. I look forward to working out with you next workout. Bye.